Cutting the eyes of the potatoes. Good job, Reese. Got a pop a wheelie, man. You need to give a little more gas. You might have to choke it. Might have to choke it. Push, push the throttle and give it more gas through the throttle. There you go. Pull the choke out, bud. It's got to be level. That is true on that carburetor. It's old. It's what happens when you mess with stuff from the 70s. Hey, let me do it. You might have flooded it. We'll see.
everybody. How y'all doing today? Um, me and the family are out here. We're going to be planting a few things. Uh, we ran this old road buster, made roads with it by guiding by the tiller. So we took the tiller, tilled the row up, kind of formed where the tiller would go during when we're cultivating. We put the turn plow on the pile house, made a row up. We made about four rows up and back. Um, so what we're going to do now is talk about uh, planting some seeds. I bought this whole machine here last year off Facebook Marketplace. Reese, you want to zoom in here on it a minute while I talk about it? With these discs. Guy only wanted $20 for it. I seen it on a late Sunday night and I'm like, hold on. Uh, I can come get it now if you want to sell it. He said, sure, come right at it. This machine sells for about $130 and that doesn't include all the discs. So what happens is, say on this is small beans, peas, you load it in here. As this wheel turns, it has a little belt here. It's belt driven. It spins this around. This little cup digs a hole, drops the seeds in. So uh, I'll show you a few seeds we're going to plant. I try to use all non-GMO, watch what you're doing, bud. Non-GMO corn uh, and all vegetables are all non-GMO, but we've got some silver queen corn we're going to be planting. White onions. By day of sweet onions, yellow onions, a bunch of garlic, a whole bunch of garlic, um, sugar snap peas, and I actually, I'm going to do a row of uh, flowers for the butterflies. My favorites are zinnias, and we have these here. We've got, uh, I can't even pronounce it, caladia, butterfly milkweed, cosmo sensation, and some type of bouquet. I, I can't pronounce that word. But so what we're going to do is have Ian go ahead and uh, grab the corn in, go ahead and put it in the mixer, or the spreader, excuse me. All right, and he's going to walk it over to the rows, and then we're going to film right on top of the rows. One. Now it's dropping two to three seeds per hole. Cover it up enough where you can see just the very top of the onion, okay? And then you were going to also space them out one finger length, which is about two inches or so. So that's what we're going to do. And you're planning on mixing it up, right? You want them all random. So that's fine. What kind of onions do we have? We got red onion, white onion, and these yellow. All right, sounds good. Okay, let's we'll do this and garlic next. Thank you, Ray. Good job, bud. All right, Ian, you want to go ahead and change out the disc for the uh, garden piece? Simple swipe out. We had the corn in there.
All right, there's, there's your peas there. Yeah. Somebody's raising some cane out there today. So some of these uh, uh, garlic bulbs we bought kind of rotted in the bag. I had left them in these little bags. I thought they'd be all right. It was breathable. But apparently a lot of them are rather uh, mushy. But we still got a lot of these good bulbs here left that I got from Onslow Feed and Grain. Uh, probably best I support my local... Uh, business anyways versus tractor supply in there oh. sorry they're 399 garlic but uh, no they're all that's all we have left in is those two bulbs if you want to split them no, that's not all. oh we got more okay oh wow we do have a lot of garlic, you like garlic? i love garlic Checking back in on Reese. He's uh, hard at work. He's been steady at it and almost done. It's a slow process planting onions, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy with me right now? Okay. You guess it'll be all right, man. We'll keep playing the guitar and moving along. You're doing fine. You're almost done. Now next we have garlic and broccoli seed. So we're not getting it knocked out slowly but surely. So my lovely wife is planting the garlic right now on our, um, this would be row number 12. It's going to be next to the uh, garden peas. We got quite a bit of garlic, which I love. Fresh garlic out of the garden when it's nice and still moist is unbelievable, especially on a sandwich. All right, Reese is putting in the Italian green broccoli. We're going to road 11. Right here, bud. 11. This way. Do you see the seeds falling in? Alright, so Ian, you're doing the kitty back, Reese, you're doing the red, and so when you're planting the potatoes, you are planting them about six inches into the ground, and 
then you cover it up about two inches. Then you space them about a foot apart, 12 inches. Okay? Now, do y'all know how the how the piece of the potato is supposed to be placed into the ground? Can you show me? That's right. Bingo. So they, this ain't their first rodeo. <laughs> facing up. Go okay. for it. It's a race. There you go. Go. Three. And then I have some other potatoes coming up. If you have room, I'll, we'll put them at the end. One day we'll buy a potato planter, but we've been doing it 15 years this way. There's a big race at the drag strip. It's early and they were already counting them down. Race is taking a slight edge right now. And they're a little over halfway and Reese's got got slight edge. It's all good though. We going out to Hardy's afterwards. Get a thick burger, jalapenos. One. And Reese is gonna be the finisher row of the rows this year. Good job, buddy. All right, I got a few things left I'm going to record, uh, or record, uh, plant is for my butterfly guards to start getting those up and some zinnias. These are non-GMO. I ordered They're California Giants. Um, yeah, just going to continue to put around and check back and I'll see how things are going, uh, how stuff's growing. I'll probably pick up some organic fertilizer here pretty soon offline and uh, get that and see how it goes and keep plucking away at it and hope everybody's doing good y'all have a good day